All right, today's video, my sister's on vacation in Thailand with her husband. I'm a little jelly because she's checking out an elephant sanctuary. Elephants are my favorite animal and she's hanging out with elephants right now. It's freaking badass. So right now I'm using her car, 07 Mazda 3. She got it uh, brand new, my parents bought it for her brand new. Her second year of college, her first year of college, she had a Jetta 06, 05, 06. And it was the biggest lemon ever. It was at the dealer every three, four months, getting something repaired, mainly electrical. So my parents got fed up, uh, got her something else. She asked me what she should get, what's a good economy car. And I recommended the Mazda 3 right away. A friend of mine at the time had one and I was always impressed by these cars, good looking cars. I picked it up at a repair shop a couple of days ago because it had a really bad vibration. I made a video about that last year. She took it to a stealership and the stealership made the car worse. So she took it to a repair shop. Someone re recommended a repair shop to her and it's fixed now. Uh, first repair the dealer wanted uh, or charged her $400 and it got worse, they replaced half of the motor mounts. So when it got worse, they were gonna change the other, the other motor mounts and it, they wanted another $800. So she never took it to that dealer again and now she finally got it fixed. Uh, she took it to a independent repair shop and it was fixed for another $800 but they changed the valve cover gaskets and uh, changed the rest of the motor mounts and did a full tune up. Now it runs great again. 207,000 miles. I always thought this was a nice car, 17 inch rims. This is 07, uh, ground, like a ground effect package. It has a nice size, uh, nice size um, you know, exhaust tip. I've always thought these were nice cars. And she, she's, uh, she's been out of college it looks good I mean 207,000 miles no no rips in the leather leather still looks good you know a little chrome came off here but all in all it's still looks good I've I've always been impressed by these cars I know it's uh, the year 2017 now and I'm sure uh, economy cars are e even nicer than this but my experience with economy cars is um my parents have a 05 Corolla, I have a 04 Saturn Ion, and this car blows them away in quality. And you know, it's, that's, I, I use it every time my sister's on some kind of vacation because I enjoy this car a lot. It has a fake manual transmission right here. I actually bought this for her for Christmas because she does everything, man. What do you buy someone who goes to freaking Thailand and she uses it? So it's nice to see this here. USB ports, 12 volt ports. Get the key here. Yeah, everything's nice. Everything still works. Sunroof. She never used a sunroof. I really like the sunroof. It's kind of a windy day. So hopefully this video sounds okay. But yeah, this uh, so she's uh out of college now and she uses her car all the time. And it has uh, right there, 207,000 miles on it. And so far, I mean, the only repair she has done is uh, she spent $1,200 on it in 10 years. That's not bad. That's the most, you know, of course, uh, maintenance, but uh, yeah, $1,200 in repairs in 10 years is not bad. Uh, she's responsible, responsible kid. Uh, she was gonna buy a Mercedes, but now she's gonna run this into the ground. Uh, she, I think she's gonna just drive this until it falls apart. You know, she really wants a Mercedes, but I mean, she's responsible with money. She's gonna drive this as long as she can. Going for 300, oh, 250,000 is the next milestone, but yeah, I'll, I'll be super impressed if it goes up to 300. I mean, I'm impressed right now that it's gotten up to 200 with, you know, $1,200 worth in repairs. And it wasn't mechanical, it was just motor mounts. That's, that's pretty damn good. Um, I've always found this car fun to drive. 160 horsepower, it's quick. I mean, uh, my parents' Corolla, 118 horsepower. 
My uh, Saturn Ion has 140. This has 160, and it, it's a lot quicker than those cars. It feels good, even with 207,000 miles on it. But there you go, very nice car. Very impressed. Uh, that's why I'm making a video. I wish I had access to more cars to talk about, but I don't know any car people in real life. Uh, a few of you that watch my videos are like real car people, but I, I don't know anyone. So you know, I have to share cars like this. And nothing wrong with that. Like I said, I've always liked this car. It always has looked cool. And I was gonna buy a Mazda, a Mazda RX-8. I was talking to a few of you about that, but lifestyle change, I, 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 I didn't pull the trigger, but I was close to getting a Mazda RX-8, you know, just because I've always liked this car and I've always liked, you know, RX-8s. Good looking cars. Looks good, everything looks good. Let's uh, drive it around a little bit. Okay, let's go for a drive here, fire it up. Very quiet car, it's on. It's like weird for me to hear a car this quiet. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, drive here. I'll use fake manual mode later. Yeah, it's attached to the steering wheel. That's why the camera is like moving around. But it's uh, it's steady once the steering wheel's straight. Let's go for a zero to 60. 207,000 mile Mazda 3, 2.3, 160 horsepower. Let's see how zero to 60 feels in this car. Got a little straight here right now on a closed course and or computer animated. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good for 207,000 miles. That's a lot of miles. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see if this car is going to reach 300,000, but let's go for a 0 060 run right here. When the computer animated light turns green. Oh, traction control, let's turn it off. I have OCD about that. I think when traction control is on, it pulls timing if it detects wheel slippage. Not that this car is going to light them up or anything, but hey, every little bit counts. Okay, there was your 0 to 60 run. I actually broke the tires loose a little bit. So let's go ahead and try that again with traction control on. There you go. Traction control is now on. And let's see how well that works. Getting a light here. Computer animated and or on a closed track. Hey, it worked. Zero to 60 with traction control on. There you go, there's your zero to 60. Hey, traction control works, not bad. Well, it should, I don't see why not. But yeah, very quiet car. Let's go ahead and go on fake manual mode right now. So D, there you go, let's go to fifth gear. Let's see how, let's see how many, uh, gears it'll let me drop down four three two oh there you go rpms are high now let's go ahead and shift right now kind of slow it's not like an instantaneous shift let's see let's try that again Go to fifth, keep the RPM down. Let's go around here. It's cool being on a closed, closed track. So you have plenty of room. Closed track in Guatemala. Okay, let's turn around here. Okay, let's go to first gear. Red line. 
Shift now. See, it's not instant. Shift now. That's late. That's like half a second late. So yeah, it's uh, fake manuals there, but it's it's not instantaneous. I believe who's the first one to bring like I think it was Porsche. I think Porsche was the first one to bring you know the fake the fake manual that was like instantaneous shifts or like no no not Porsche it was actually a, I can't believe I got that wrong the Ferrari F355 I love those cars and that was the first car with the fake manual transmission it wasn't instantaneous I believe it was like two milliseconds which is considered like archaic now that's considered slow now but in 97 that was super quick like 0.2 I believe and no one gives GM credit for this, but the next car with a fake manual mode was the 04 uh, Pontiac Grand Prix. Correct me if I'm wrong, but for an American or Japanese mainstream car, it was the Pontiac Grand Prix, Grand Prix in 04. Unfortunately, there was only four gears of work with, and it wasn't instantaneous. My friend has an 08 uh, Grand Prix GXP, and it's, it's pretty slow. It's not an instantaneous shift. But yeah, uh, Ferrari F355 was the first car to have the paddle shifters. And then the Grand Prix. Let's get out of fake manual mode here. The Grand Prix had it in 04. So there you go. Oh, let's listen to the radio here. This car has a nice radio. And then we'll end the drive here. Let's see. Let's listen to some tunes. Listen to some tunes here. Come on. I'm listening through my... That's a good beat. All right, everyone, that was a little uh, walk around, review, test drive of the Mazda 3 with 200,000 miles, equipped with fake manual transmission. Everyone kick ass, be safe, take it easy, highly recommended car. If you're in the market for a economy car, Mazda 3s are nice.